want you to be careful with him because he's, he hasn't done many conventions and this is sort of his first time solo. Hi. So, um, so we're, this is going to go for about half an hour or so and we're going to ask some questions. You can ask whatever questions you like on Almighty Johnson's, which they're filming season three at the moment, and um, on The Hobbit. And I think it, with The Hobbit stuff, there might be some things that Dean can't say, obviously, because there's stuff coming up. But, um, I mean, obviously you've seen the first movie, so there's a lot you can say about that one. Um, so if anybody's got any questions, grab the mic, line up there, and we'll... Oh, there's all these people, and they did 46 takes. 46 takes of me at the door saying, Hi. Um, I think one of my favourite days would have been... Let me think, let me think. I'm trying to think of things that I enjoyed from the first film, not the second film. The, uh, we shot some stuff in the Goblin Town. When we did that, it was, uh, that was a lot of fun because we got to basically run around with our swords and chop up pretend goblins, you know? And Peter, and the, thing, the crazy thing is that, that half the time they weren't even real stuntmen. They were just uh, invisible people. Peter would be like, you know, Dean, just, uh, just pretend to chop someone up. And I was like, oh, so I just pretend to chop someone up, and then added in later, and that was, uh, you know, that was a really good time. Yeah. Every day was pretty crazy. Thanks, man. Okay, sorry, I'm going to film this film. Um, is it true that Martin tries, like, kung fu moves on all of you guys? Yeah, all the time. All the time, and I don't know why. He's such a little guy. It wouldn't do any, it wouldn't do any damage. It's just like being tickled. Um, but yeah, he does. I think he's I think he's joking. I hope he is because it's not very scary. Thank you. <laughs> no to audition, and uh, he he came in and we auditioned together, and. And basically, we sort of had to just do a lot of ad-libbing and sort of making stuff up. Um, and thankfully, we got along really, really well. And, and then, you know, out of all the dwarves, everybody had their own little groups. And me and Aiden were always paired off together. <clears throat> you know, like the Philly and Killy kind of group. So, um, yeah, we became really close. And, yeah, I mean, he's like my Irish brother, really. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what was that I heard? What do you... And then didn't get the, didn't get the rest of it. What do you think makes The Hobbit so unique to other films? Um, it's long. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I, I don't, there's no films out there really that are like that. You know, I, I mean, I mean, apart from like the 48 Frames, which is, I guess, it's a new, it's a new thing. But um, I, I don't think there's been as many films, maybe apart from the Lord of the Rings trilogy, that have tried to create such a world like this. I mean, Avatar did it, but it was in the future. And I think in terms of like fantasy films, you know, those guys really worked hard at making everything as real and as, you know, I mean, on some days we were on set and it was incredible. There's so much detail, you know, everywhere you look, there's little props and bits and pieces and, you know, things that would want to steal as little mementos. I mean, the whole thing was, you know, like, it really just felt like you're in another world. And then some days you're just standing on a green screen. But, yeah, I mean, I think it's, uh, yeah, like, I think it's a, um, I think it's a film that really, really tries to take you to another place, and, and maybe that's what makes it unique. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. How uncomfortable... I wouldn't want to be an elf. They're too, they're too uptight. Um, that's a good question. I don't really know. Who, who are you today? Me? Um, yeah. And Dorian. Oh, okay. I was going to say maybe Avatar. <laughs> maybe, an, maybe an Avatar because they run fast you know, and they ride horses really well. So maybe one of them. Thanks. Uh, have you ever been tempted to say my precious? My precious, yes, all the time. Yeah. <laughs> my precious. <laughs> do it in the Gollum voice. I can't do Gollum's voice. I think Andy Circus has got the he's got the uh, the market on that one. Um, on, on. How does he talk? Anyone got a good impression of Andy? <laughs> Give me some tips. Hey, let me try. Let me try. My precious. My precious. How's that? Is that all right? All right. That's it. No more impressions. <laughs> Anything else, mate? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Thanks. Uh, 
Nice. Hello. Which did you prefer, Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit? Because you're like in The Hobbit. Oh, definitely The Hobbit because I was in it. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I love Lord of the Rings. I love Lord of the Rings. I, spent, I really like Fellowship. That was probably my favourite of the trilogy. Um, but I think, you know, The Hobbit, because I was in it. <laughs> Martin just sort of sticky-fingered little He's Martin. He's hired as a thief, isn't he? Yeah, exactly. He was just in character. No, but I tell you what, if you're a fan, or even not even a fan, but if you just want a memento, but if you were a fan on the set of one of these, if you were on one of these sets, you'd have a great time because there's so much stuff to steal. You know, swords and props and goblin ears and... Uh, you know, fake feet, fake hands, noses, yeah, boots, everything. Cool, cool. Um, sorry, just one about yeah. Johnson's. Um, if you had the power of persuasion, what would you do? Oh man, persuade Peter to make another four Hobbit movies and keep me in it, not kill me. <laughs> um, I don't know, mate. I'd probably use it to um, not pay tax for a while. Nice. Yeah. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, um, I was wondering what what's Peter Jackson like in person. Um, he's pretty much what he's like on TV. You know, if you've ever seen an interview with him, he's very, like, sort of relaxed and, you know, mellow and, um, yeah, I mean, I guess you can be relaxed. He's, you know, quite a wealthy man. Um, but the first time I met him was when I went down to Wellington for the audition and, uh, you know, I was really, really nervous because I thought, oh my God, oh my God, what am I going to do? And he was just sitting in his tent and he got up and shook my hand and he's like, oh, this must be pretty weird. And I was like, yeah, it's very weird. And uh, he used to worry about it, just, you know, relax. And to be honest, he's like that on set most of the time. I mean, some days he would get pretty stressed, I imagine, because there was so much going on, so many people, so many things to coordinate. But uh, he never he never lost his cool, you know. He was always very, very relaxed and respectful of everybody. And, uh, you know, I really respect him for that because oh, I don't know how he does it. I'd be, I'd be a wreck. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, mate. Um, I was wondering what happened to the Bonjour Timothy sequel, Good Day, Michelle? <laughs> um, it, it was going to happen. Does anyone know that movie, Bonjour Timothy? Probably not. It was probably made it before <laughs> after you were born. Um, yeah, they, they were going to do a sequel, but then through various reasons, none of which are particularly interesting. Yeah, I grew up. I grew up. Yeah. My voice broke. <laughs> were you a fan of The Hobbit before you were in it? Um, you mean like the book? Yeah, uh, kind of. I mean, I, I didn't read it when I was a kid, so as soon as I got the role, I had to reread it. Uh, but I was, I was a fan of Peter Jackson's work, you know? I really like, I mean, I like Frighteners, and I like Bad Taste, um, and obviously Lord of the Rings. So I was excited about working on The Hobbit. I guess I wasn't a fan yet because I didn't know what it was going to be like, and I, I hoped to like it. I was a fan of Ian McKellen's, so that was pretty cool to, uh, you know, to work with him. Um, I can tell you what we did. We slept, we drank a lot of coffee, and we played uh, on Aiden's, not Aiden's, uh, Stephen Hunter's PlayStation. Me and Aiden and him would play FIFA, soccer. Uh, we had big, you know, we had hours sometimes to uh, to play it. So that's pretty, that's pretty much what we did. I mean, we like typically if we got called to set at five, and our makeup would be on by about seven, and then we put a costume on and then we would probably not be shooting until about two or three in the afternoon so we had a lot of downtime yeah thank you thanks hi i was Bye. Wondering, I, I was wondering what it was like shooting the a lot of like are you okay you know in case we fall over and break our ankle or something and i don't know they're always really worried about us but this time for some reason they weren't worried about us at all and they said okay so you get into your barrel and then we release the rope and the current takes you down the river and then at some point before the waterfall there's a rope that stops you from going over the waterfall and then you have to get out and climb up the bank and it, you know, it's a river and it had a current. So we were going, yay, we're all very excited to be in these barrels floating down the river. And then when we tried to get out, we were too heavy in our costumes. And so we, some of us like sunk pretty much. We couldn't get out. You know, we're like, we just became these big walking like wet things. And you know, it was, it was completely mad and really fun. And some people like, I think William Kircher and John Callan, who plays Oin, their barrels actually went over the rope, over the safety rope, and they just kept floating towards the waterfall. And, you know, they were saved, unfortunately, but they were. And, uh, yeah, so that was, yeah, it was pretty great. Thank you. Thanks. Hi. Hi. Um, if you could play any role, what role would it be? Oh, man, that's a good question. Thank you. 
I don't know. I, 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 you know, I, I don't know. I'm not really a writer, so I'm not really good at coming up with parts for me to play. I would like to do. You know, I was a big fan of like Saving Private Ryan. I love love a good war movie, and I would love to be involved in something like that. You know, maybe like um, have you got Simple Tune? Yeah. Simple Tune. Yeah, the Tom Berenger role is pretty cool. Uh, but I don't know. I like to be surprised by something, and um, I, I don't really know. Maybe a war film, because I'm a boy. You know, like that's the good thing about the Hobbit was that. It's kind of like uh, like a job for a kid, you know. When you're a kid, you think of being an actor. You want to be in like something like The Hobbit because it's just all fantasy and play, and um, yeah, something like that would be fun. Cool, thanks. Thanks. How's it going? Good, mate. Hey, uh, I've got a question. Yeah. How do you feel about your label of being the, the hottest dwarf in The Hobbit? Um, I feel really uncomfortable about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, I mean, I don't know. Look, I think they, they, they did that because, you know, uh, they need to promote every dwarf in their own particular way. And me and Aiden looked relatively better than, you know, Gloin, Annoin, Bomber. Um, so they said, you know, you guys are the handsome dwarfs. But it's, it's, it's very, you know, I mean, we're dwarves in, in Middle Earth. I mean, it's sort of, I think, you know, the elves really, if they're going to get the dreamy label, if there was like a Mr. Sexy Middle Earth, you know, it probably wouldn't go to any of the dwarves. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Thanks. Good for you. Uh, hey there. Hi. Um, I'm wondering if you could choose to play anything with any actor or actress in the world. Yeah. Who would it be? Uh, Zac Efron. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, oh. You know, I really love. I love people like Anthony Hopkins. You know, I mean, they're incredible actors. I'd love to work with someone who's really good. I'd love to work with... Oh, man, who, who's out there? Jenna, I was going to say Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah, yeah, she's pretty saucy. I'd work with her. Um, yeah. You know, I'd like to do another film with Aiden, to be honest. I'd like to do a film that wasn't covered in, um, you know, makeup and fake hair and just a, just a normal film with me and him. That'd be fun. Thanks.